Good morning, St. Francis. It is Tuesday, January the 19th, 2021, Tuesday of the second week of the year. I have a kangaroo on my head and I have a dragon around my neck. Fair trade market last year. Incredible buy. Um, coming to you this morning uh, on this very frosty morning in Carolina from our Peace Pole over here, uh, because it is necessary for us, especially this week, uh, to continue to pray for peace uh, in our lives, our nation, in this world. Continuing also with uh, Mark's gospel as Jesus begins his earthly ministry, his earthly, ministry, his earthly mission, again coming up um, against the Pharisees. And what is the Pharisees think is important, think is valuable, think uh, is what is the basis of one's relationship with God. And for the Pharisees always, it was the keeping of rules, the keeping of regulations. As long as these were kept and maintained, everything would be good, everything would be fine. And while it is true that people without laws are not free, it's always important to examine and understand exactly why these laws exist. And again, if they do not function the way that they do or should, then maybe they should be re uh, re uh, looked at again, reoriented, or maybe even abandoned altogether. And so again, the apostles passed through a field eating grain on the Sabbath when you weren't supposed to do anything at all. And so Jesus is confronted by the Pharisees who basically say, how dare they do that? How dare they flaunt the Sabbath? How dare they forget it and disregard it? And basically Jesus says, are we made for the Sabbath? Or is the Sabbath made for us? Again, it's not, it's not as if we become oppressed and burdened by these rules and regulations. We are not to become oppressed and burdened by thinking that God demands so much out of us that it becomes impossible for us ever to fulfill or ever to succeed in what God asks us to do. Again, that is not a God to believe in. That is not a God to have faith in. That is not a God who says, I want you in my life and I want a relationship with you. But sometimes it is easier to fall back again and again on rules and regulations because we think that that keeps order. As long as there is order and stability, then everything is right. But remember what happens with Jesus all through the Gospels. There is this shaking up of what was considered orderly. There is this constant moving against what people thought was going to keep uh, society on the straight and narrow, what was going to keep a status quo. Yes, indeed, Jesus flaunts that all the time. Jesus basically confronts that and offers a different way of looking at things. We exist to have life and have it to its fullest. We exist that we might enjoy all the things that God has given to us. We may exist that we may be for each other and with each other always, working towards that unity that enriches our lives as human beings and makes this earth a wonderful and glorious place to live in and reveals the earth's goodness at its heart, at its core. To hold on to laws that don't work, to hold on to rules that don't work, to hold on to things that would stop that, human, that, that humanity and that humanness from flourishing goes against God's decree and what God asks and what God wants of us. When we be people who always know what we believe in and what those things are that guide us to that belief, and may that always work, not only to enrich our lives as human beings, but to allow the gospel and the kingdom to continue to grow and be proclaimed. May the Lord give you peace.